on an afternoon for the diehards and anybody who was actually smart enough to bring layers and hot chocolate or coffee to the match in advance, the Gilmore and Hawking girls battled to a 1-1 stalemate on Saturday afternoon in a battle of area powers and state ranked sides at Hawkins Cliff Walton Stadium. I think it was a fair result. Uh, I had shots on target. 8-7 to seven in favor of Hawken, and that second half was certainly a lot better than the opening 40. It was difficult in that weather to really develop rhythm in the attack in that opening 40 minutes. But I think what was really a huge key going into halftime and into the second half was there in the 38th minute, Gilmore striker Izzy Green gets a left-footed bender on target, upper 90 to the top left corner, and Hawken goalkeeper Eni Jackson makes an outstanding tip save to keep it a nil-nil match. I think that set a tone for the second half as far as the quality in the attack, and you started to see that as that second half wore along. Gilmore had some uh, solid possession going there. Uh, Hawken had a really good work rate as well. Both sides pushing hard to get that match off the mark. You get two strikes to finally get it off the mark there just before the hour mark. A uh, nice strike from uh, Alyssa Barron to make it a 1-0 match. And then what a pile driver from distance by Daisha Randelson, the equalizer for Hawken at 1-1. You've heard me say a thousand times, I believe is the best finisher from distance in our area. And I believe that proves it. Not just the accuracy, but the power from distance. It's very hard to keep those shots on target under the crossbar. Daisha's able to do it and, and display that in that instance. A couple of other positives coming out of this match for both sides, starting with Gilmore. In addition to that early strike by Izzy to try to get the attack uh, going a little bit better in the right direction, I think, for both sides. Nice clearance off the line by Gilmore outside back. Mackenzie Zucker there early in the second half to keep it a nil-nil match. And again, I like the possession that the Lancers had at times in this match. You're used to that, that trademark, trying to spread the width of midfield, knocking it around, showing patience. And Gilmore had some flashes of that, albeit in a crappy weather, to be sure, uh, on a Saturday afternoon. As far as Hawking goes, I thought that uh, their new sophomore center back, Molly Gallagher, had a nice match. And again, I like some of the work rate that I saw in midfield. I, at the end of the day, this is going to make for a tough Division Three district tournament meeting to be sure if you're the coaches I don't envy you out there trying to figure out who the number one seed is between Gilmore and Hawken at this point but this match was in my opinion a fair result and obviously you'd love to see a round two Curlin's going to have something to say about that one way or another, but you'd love to see that gilmore Hawkins rematch there in a, in a potential district final and you just hope next time around the weather is perfectly sunny, it's on a turf field, and you get the, the most potential out of both sides. If we can get a, a anything like that district final that we got from these sides a year ago, I, count me in for that. I'd love to see that again, and uh, we'll, we'll have to see what happens from here, but I think if this match was any indication, we can look forward to the rest of the month here. After a very well-played, ultimately, 1-1 tie between the Gilmore and Hawking girls on Saturday.